What's going on guys, Bob here back with some mutant genetic gladiators, so let's get into this day We're gonna be checking out mutant PvP and uh, yeah, this is gonna be season 85 It is a little bit shorter than the normal seasons, but I think they're trying to get back on track and uh, Yeah, I'm currently using my team just for the fact that I was just gonna use this to talk a little bit of what's going on I will be trying to win this of course because they did change the rewards and I did actually get the last season's max rewards you can go check my Facebook if you guys want to see a picture of that it's just a star that's basically about it but this one they actually changed around they took off the 500 gold and replaced it with 250 I kind of know why they did that because some of the rewards are well if you do get max are actually really worth it I kind of don't like how they moved them around really wish the reactor tokens were where they were but uh, they kind of moved those up they put two of them uh, I really think they should have maybe put three just to compensate a little bit more for the gold that they actually took away although the gold I think went towards the platinum star if you do get top 1% you will be gaining two platinum stars instead of one which equals out to 2,000 gold so kind of understand why they kind of cut the gold in half for this one hopefully they change it back although I kind of like this one but some people are getting mad over the gold I'm not too really concerned about that because I do have forges and stuff like that but some people don't so that's why they actually want it really wish they increased the jackpot tokens 10 of them doesn't really get you anything uh, the mutant I don't really need so if you need that there you go and then uh, of course you get into the um, reaction tokens which they gave you two they have done that in the past without even changing anything they just gave you more for like whatever reason but uh, currently they do have two of them I mean I do like it because you do need reactor tokens if they're gonna ever add a new reactor which they do all the time and stuff like that then you're gonna need those reactor tokens because with my luck I'm gonna have to use like 20 or 30 40 reactor tokens to complete a full set of reactors like with the recent dark one it took me all 20 I didn't even complete it and I had to use gold so I do like the reactor token increase I really wish they would have maybe added three because uh, reactor tokens aren't as they're they're pretty easy to get but two doesn't seem as fair I mean it's still pretty good nonetheless because I do need them so I'm not complaining too much but some people were mad over it I'm not really mad over it I do however like the platinum stars staying at two really wish it would actually keep that I don't care if they put everything back to normal as long as they kept the platinum stars at two because that helps out so so much you don't know how long it actually takes to craft a platinum star unless you've done it before and I have crafted so many of them and uh, kind of getting tired of crafting honestly and I'm also running out of materials so yeah it is uh, very helpful with the two platinum stars so once this actually ends I will be able to make two more platinums currently just made three so yeah the platinums are coming in like crazy and having the two extra is going to help out a lot. I am going to be completing the crisis event which came out with this as well. And uh, a ton of other stuff. I know I haven't actually streamed. Just been really busy trying to catch up and doing all kinds of other stuff. So I will be trying to do that pretty soon. I do have a ton of new platinums. Considering I just made three. I actually have two more to make. Plus I have another one from the crisis event. So I have a ton of Platinums that I'm going to be making. A ton of them are going to be able to level up. So I'm going to have to start leveling up some Platinums. I have been leveling up a few at a time here and there. So I mean it's getting there but getting them up to all 110 as well as making a ton of videos and doing all this other stuff isn't the easiest thing. So that's why I'm currently just with the same team. But uh, we'll get a meeting up there eventually. And uh, I will continue to try to make PvP um videos i did make last season's videos i recorded like two hours i think of footage and uh yeah i'm not even gonna do anything with it i just gonna delete it honestly 
because it wasn't even that fun it's just me doing the same team over and over so I can get that 1% so that way I can get the star which wasn't too hard uh, did get attacked back quite a few times and then I just do revenge and then basically get the, co the points back unless they still like 20 because I noticed when they still 20 and I go back to get them I get like 10 sometimes I'll get a hundred or just like random numbers but most of the times I'll get 10 but I did make it to the top 1% so that's pretty good I think I was in like 2200 points or something like that so it wasn't too high to get to the max rank I know some people are actually complaining about not being able to get to max rank but uh, within your max evo you should be able to get close to the points just for the fact that you should be fighting people about your level as well and you're gaining points off of that plus if you're actually able to beat somebody with the uh, evo a lot higher than you you should max the points out at a hundred and I have done that multiple times and they were only like one or two or a couple levels ahead of me in Evo so yeah I'm not too sure why people are gaining or like fighting people that uh, are way higher than them and not gaining anything I don't know what's up with the PvP system for lower level players I'm not too sure because I haven't uh, been there in a while but I'm talking about people with like Evo's level 30 40 and stuff like that not really high but yeah everybody should be fighting people around their level I mean the higher you get into the 1% probably becomes a little bit harder and stuff like that but you should be able to at least get into the top 3% it's not that hard everybody starts off with I think top uh, I think if you just do one fight and you actually win your top like 10 15 percent well when you first start closer towards the later it gets a lot more because the points start going up but um yeah all you got to do is keep fighting it does take a ton of fights especially if you're a lower level but hopefully you're actually able to make it into the top one percent i will be going for that this season so you're probably going to see a ton more of these I'll try to mix it up when they're a lot lower evos like this but if they're a lot higher then uh, gotta kinda use the team I currently have which isn't really too good but I have to use it because I have to win that fight for the points but uh, definitely let me know what you think I will be making a ton of platinums um, taking forever to level them and continuing to gain points because I want those two platinum stars so that's what we're going to be going for this season let me know what you guys think and we'll talk to you guys later